Hi guys, welcome to our channel, Exploring It All. I'm Miraculous Girl. Join me and my dad while we explore. Hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. Uh, as you can see, I got the TFAC My Medic uh, trauma bag out once more. I really like this bag. Every time I look at it, the color and everything, it's a really nice bag. Anyway, uh, I'm doing a follow-up video to the follow-up video, and that is, is I ordered the upgrade kit uh, to add to making it the full-on trauma kit that they offer for, I don't know, it's well over $100. And uh, so... I'm, uh, and a lot of people were saying, I can't get it to fit. So I got everything in here. This is the way I packed it up. I've packed it up a couple times now. Um, and so I just wanted to show everyone how I made it fit. And then I'm probably going to be doing another follow-up video with these, uh, zips, Z-zips, uh, from my medic. I ordered those. They had a sale thing. They suckered me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, first I'm going to take off my little uh, morale patches here. The MyMedic one came with it. The uh, rub some dirt on it. Everything stops bleeding. And, uh, but did you die? Uh, as you guys might realize, I recently retired and uh, from 25 years in law enforcement. And uh, we have a twisted sense of humor. Anyway, I'm going to take this back panel off. This is your pull release panel. You just unclip it. You can leave this. It has molly on it and everything. And uh, there's no pockets or anything. I'm going to set that aside just so the bag lays down nice. So first up, we have this pocket. Now, the first thing I did, and this pocket comes off as well, is I have a pair of latex gloves in that. And I think there's another pair of latex gloves and uh, it might be in one of the other kits. All right, so we'll set this off over here. I'm trying to make sure everything stays in frame here as we go. So we're going to unzip this. Seems like I'm caught on something there. I don't know what, though. All right, so we'll open this back up. As you can see, the shears here were completely loose because I don't I didn't put them on anything I put the little pin here and this can attach too because it has a removable cap on it so you can attach this to the outside as well or something uh, but I just stuck that in there so how did I set this up so at the top over here and there's nothing over on this at this end over here got those so at the uh, on the side over here you got your bottle of uh, made in China 100% polyester I don't like that so here's my Swiss Army knife insert I'm gonna take this little tag out because it takes away from the bag in my opinion I don't like it all it tells me is that it's made in China and stuff I don't care all right so that's gone. Oh, it looks so much better already. All right, so uh, you got your sanitizer wash for cleaning your wounds and stuff. And then right here, we have our tool kit, which contained the whistle, uh, tweezers, and the flashlight. So those are in this pocket over here on the side. I'll set those over there. In the front here, we have our rapid tourniquet. Now, the rapid tourniquet doesn't have to be sterile. You can take it out, rewrap it. I fit it in here, but you can take it out, rewrap it, and put it in one of your billy bands on the side if you so desire. So, compressed gauze. Um, I think there's two of these. Oh, there it is. Here it is. You got your crinkle compressed gauze and your regular compressed gauze. So, the crinkle one was over here. This is quick clot. It's a quick clot dressing. Uh, you're going to 
put this over the top of a bleeding wound and there's instructions and pictures on the back pictures are great because it's a quick easy reference and this is all in the center here like I said you have your compressed gauze and what was this one this was a pressure bandage you got the pressure bandage that's all in my front right here and then further down in here all the rest of this stuff uh, what was this one this was instructions for no it has pictures oh for the staple things I threw these these did not come in this the micro mend uh, staples that we got in a previous battle box mission I I tossed those in here uh, the vented chest seals you have two of those and those were in the middle here uh, and I was right there's another pair of nitrate gloves and this is that uh, stick it up your nostril uh, thing here so that was all in that center pack the crinkle gauze your space blanket and uh, the zip strips and then up here in the top in this little one up here I put the uh, CPR shield I did CPR once in my life on a one-year-old child I did not use a face shield uh, I was more concerned with saving the child's life and at this point in time I'm not worried about getting diseases from one-year-olds anyway so <laughs> that's how I had everything stuffed in to this bag now I'm gonna put everything back in I'm gonna time lapse this and speed it up a little bit uh, as I go um, and you guys, so you guys can see, I'm going to get everything right back in here and zip this back up. Oh, and one other thing, uh, when everyone's like, well, you know, that didn't seem to be very organized or something. Uh, when you are in a situation where you have a severe injury where you're using this type of kit, as you notice, there's not a lot of band-aids or anything. This isn't a first aid kit, it's trauma kit. Um, when you're in that kind of situation... Dump all your stuff out. Find what you need. You can put it away later. Just get out what you need and start using it. Because that's what you're going to need to do. Anyway. Alright, let's start getting this stuff packed away. And there you go. Everything, including an additional item that wasn't included, the, uh, the staple things, uh, in the bag, fits. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Give us a like. Give us a, uh, give us a subscribe. And please, I can't encourage you enough, please subscribe. Uh, it, it does help promote the channel and stuff as we get more viewers and, and whatnot. I, we get lots of views, but we need uh, the subscribes. All right, thank you guys once again. And remember, be nice to each other.